We're glad to be back in your home. It's another week, amen. We appreciate the privilege of being able to come in and just to brag on Jesus while we're around a special time of year, amen, and uh, celebrating the birth of Christ. Boy, I'm telling you what a birth it was. Amen, what a price he paid that me and you might be able to go free today. Amen, we got a couple of songs picked out by Swan. Christmas songs, the hardest songs in the world to do because you only do them one time a year, right? So you pray for us today as we try a couple of songs. Amen, and if you know them, you just sing right along with us. Amen, we hope and pray today that they're a blessing. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows dim, giving the light to those who long have gone, have gone, guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. Oh, beautiful star, beautiful, beautiful star of Bethlehem, star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawns, dawn, giving us light to light. Star of Bethlehem, shine on and on. Oh, beautiful star, the hope of life, guiding the pilgrims through the night, over the mountains till the Star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. Oh, beautiful, star, beautiful, beautiful star of Bethlehem. Star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawn, giving us light to light the way. Unto the land of perfect day, O oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on and on. O oh, beautiful star, the hope of rest for the blessing to you this morning. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Ask God's blessings upon the program today. We're going to ask Sister Linda Hill, if she would, to lead us off in a word of prayer. 
Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to come out today and share our songs and our message with everybody out there that's watching the program today. Thank you for your blessings on us, dear Lord, each and every day. We ask that you bless this program and be with the preacher as he brings the message. It might touch somebody's heart and so that they will reach out and accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. And that's what it's all about, Lord. Just be with everybody during the Christmas season and let them know that it's all about Jesus. It's not about the presents and the, and the, the tree and all that stuff. It's all about Jesus Christ. We ask this in everything in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. 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 We'd uh, like to take just a few minutes of time and thank the ones that have uh, called in this week. Amen. And uh, uh, requested prayer. And we just want to reassure you that we're still, still praying for you. And, we want to take a few minutes of time and thank the ones that's helped support the broadcast down through this past year. Amen. What a blessing it's been. Amen. Of souls being saved, people getting some help, and prayers getting answered. Amen. Well, I tell you, I'm so glad today that God let me be a part, part of His great big plan. Amen. So you pray for us today as we try another song. Amen. And then we'll get into a uh, little bit of the preaching of God's Word. And, uh, you pray today that God will have His way in the name of Jesus be lifted up above every name. Amen. And there are people who are whispering and the a virgin from down in Nazareth now listen close she's gonna marry a man named Joseph of the baby's father is the Holy Ghost who do you think would be a few of our announcements today. Amen. We'd just like to tell everyone out there that's listening to have a very Merry Christmas and remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. <coughs> um, we would like to invite you to come out and join us at Grace Independent Baptist Church 
at 2507 Olivia Road in Sanford, North Carolina. Our Sunday school is at 10, morning worship is at 11, evening service is at 5, and Wednesday night is at 7. But this week, uh, due to it being Christmas Eve, we will not be having our Christmas um, even, evening service due to a lot of the people in the church having family obligations that they're going to be out of the church. So we're just going to take it off and uh, just hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Uh, we also want to thank everyone who has dropped off food for the Blessing Box. That's really been a blessing and it's really helping a lot of people. And also, thank you for calling us and dropping us a note and you know just on Facebook putting in your prayer request we do take those to the Lord every Tuesday evening at 6 30 and also in between times every day you know when we find out a need of a person we'll just pray for them so if you have a need just give us give us a call drop us a line or post it to the Facebook page we'd love to hear from you honey into your home again this morning and we got some old familiar scriptures amen that we want to read to you today out of the book of luke amen chapter number two amen down in uh, starting down in verse number seven amen time uh, won't allow us to read it all amen but we're going to read part of it and god give us a thought today amen on a message so amen you listen to the reading of God's word in chapter number two of the book of St. Luke, amen, starting down in verse seven. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came up on them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, amen, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this day, and this shall be a sign Unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there cut, there was with the angels a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth good will towards men. Amen. Let us pray. Father, dear Lord, it's again God that we come to you this morning with humble hearts thanking you, Lord, for this day, God. Thanking you, Father, for another opportunity, Lord, to be able to stand and to be able to brag, Lord, on your Son. And God, we pray today that, Father, as this message goes out today, Lord, that it'll lodge, Lord, in someone's heart today, God. And Father, that might not know thee, Lord, in the free partner of sin, God, what a what a way to start off another year by becoming one of your children. Lord, we thank you today, God, for everything that you've done. And Lord, we pray today, God, to have your way, Lord, in everything, God, that is said and done. Undertake and, Lord, supply, God, the very needs of the hour. And, Lord, whatever's accomplished, dear God, will not fail, Father, to bow our head. And, Lord, to give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory, Father, for we ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray and amen and amen you notice we read this uh, 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 scripture today amen this uh, uh, probably these verses of scriptures read more than anything else during the holidays amen but I want to show you some things out of the scripture with God being my help this morning amen that might help us to realize amen this great gift of salvation amen see it took uh, some things 
to make this gift possible. Amen. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what, I'm glad today that, amen, that this gift is a precious gift. Amen. And it's one that will never have to be replaced. But as we look at these scriptures today, amen, we realize that there were some things that had to take place. Amen. In order for uh, Christ to be uh, our substitute and pay the penalty of our sins. Amen. Number one, it took a manger. Amen. Amen. It took a manger and it took a babe. Amen. You say, preacher, how come? Amen. Well, Isaiah had prophesied about this about 750 years, amen, before uh, the Christ child was ever born. Amen. That in a manger in Bethlehem, amen, it's where the Son of God, amen, would be born. Amen. He had to come upon this earth, amen, and take upon him a self, amen, the uh, the reason of humanity and walk as a human and talk as a human and feel, amen, as me and you do and suffer the pains that uh, me and you do, amen. We find all this in Luke, uh, amen, chapter two and verse number seven, how the heaven celebrated at the birth, amen. There was a few shepherds, uh, amen, that the angels appeared unto, amen. Uh, uh, so we find out, amen, that he was born, amen, not on the high political side of things, but he was born uh, uh, down below the poor and the needy, amen. He says he was resting uh, uh, there in a manger, amen. We find that it doesn't only uh, uh, take a manger, but it took a garden, amen. I remember uh, uh, several times throughout the scripture and throughout Jesus' life, amen, how that he'd go to the garden and he'd pray. Uh, as a matter of fact, there in the garden is where he prayed and where he sweat become as great drops of blood. Amen. And boy, there in the garden, I'm glad the Bible said that he went a little further. Ain't you glad today? Amen. That whenever he seen and realized the price that he had to pay, that he was willing to go a little further. Amen. I thank God for the garden of Gethsemane. Amen. There. Amen. Boy, he said, let this cup pass for me. But never the less, uh, Father, let thy will uh, be done. I'm glad, thank God, uh, that he was willing to take the iniquity uh, of each and every one of us today uh, and to carry that iniquity to a cross uh, and where he might be able to pay the sin debt we find uh, over in the book of Luke in chapter 22, uh, uh, verses 35 and 44, talks about the garden uh, that he went into to pray. Uh, Amen. Boy, ain't it good to, for us sometimes uh, to get away to just so we can pray to Him uh, and to thank Him for everything that He's done. Uh, and we find the distance in between the manger and the garden. Uh, amen. It was a long road. He was despised, rejected. Uh, amen. This seen and belittled in every way. Uh, but He still loved the people. Uh, amen. He was still healing the blind. Uh, amen. Causing the lame to walk and the deaf to hear. Amen. Regardless of how people treated him, he had love and compassion. Amen. Then we also find out that they had to be a courtroom. Amen. As he stood there in front of Pilate. Amen. And Pilate, as he wringed his hands and he looked and he said, I find no reason why this man should die. And he tried to wash the blood off of these hands with water, amen, there uh, Jesus become humble, amen, humble even and obedient uh, to death, amen, he said uh, and do you say that you're Christ the King, he said thou sayest uh, that I am he offered nothing uh, in his defense, amen uh, he was there for one reason and one reason only uh, and that was to pay the sin debt uh, for you and I amen, not only that, uh, but but it took a cross, amen. And boy, I'm telling you how the Bible, I'm back over in the book of Exodus, amen, as God told Moses to hang the brass servant upon a pole, and the people, whenever they're bidding, if they'll look unto him, they shall live. I'm glad today, thank God, that we got one and we can look unto, and his name is Jesus Christ, amen. I'm glad of what 
John said. He said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. But he took a cross. Amen. He took a man being obedient to his Father, willing to suffer the pain and endure the tortures of that old cross. Amen. That you and I might be able to have the right to eternal life. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, I thank God that Jesus was willing to hang upon the cross even when heaven turned its back on him. Amen. He cried with a loud voice, it is finished. And he yielded up the, uh, the, the spirit. Amen. I'm glad today that he done that for you and I. Not only that, but he took an empty tomb. Amen. Ain't you glad today that the tomb is empty? Amen. Ain't you glad today that the Savior is risen? Amen. And he is seated on the right hand of the Father. Amen. Boy, he took a tomb. Amen. He, he had to pay the price. Amen. He paid the price on Calvary. Amen. When he cried, it is finished. And he won the victory in the graveyard. When they laid him in the tomb. And he went down into the depths of the earth. And he come back. Amen. And he said, I have the keys of death and of hell in my hand. Ain't you glad? Amen. That when Mary went that morning, that stone was done already rolled away and the blessed Savior had done already risen. You know, there's some important things in there. Amen. Because He is risen, we also shall be risen in like manner as He was so today. Amen. As we look at this Christmas story in the Word of God, we find out, amen, that Jesus done all these things, amen, for you and I today. Amen. When he come out of the empty tomb, and amen, he appeared there with the apostles and he ate with them. Amen. And he walked with them along the road. Uh, uh, amen. Boy, I'm telling you what, ain't you glad today? Amen. That we serve the God that is alive. Amen. Uh, that is well. Amen. We find in the book of Acts. Amen. He didn't only take an empty tomb, but it took a risen Lord. Amen. Over in the book of Acts. Amen. As he was telling the disciples, there. He said, you boys need to go back to the waiting. I, I go back to the upper room. Amen. And wait on the promise. And it's getting ready to come. And as he was a standing there a talking to them. Amen. The Bible said that he ascended up out of their sight. Amen. And they watched that glorious Savior. They watched that one that they had nailed to the old rugged cross. They watched that one where the religious people had come against him. Amen. They looked at him. Amen. That had been laid in the tomb for them three days and come out and then he walked among them for several days. They had seen him ascend up into heaven. Amen. Tonight brother I'm telling you as he goes and he sits down on the right hand of the Father. You know what that's for today. He's our intercessor. Amen. You remember how that in the Old Testament. Amen. How that the high priest I would have to go behind the veil, amen, one time a year. I'm glad we don't have to do that, amen. I'm glad we got a great high priest that is sitting on the right hand of the Father to make intercession for you and I today, amen, that that Holy Spirit, amen, that lives within us, that draws us to this man called Jesus Christ, amen, tonight carries our prayers, amen, unto a living God. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, he went from a babe to a man. Amen. To a man to the cross. Amen. From the cross to the tomb. From the tomb. Amen. As a risen Savior. Walking among them from a risen Savior to the one that is sitting on the right hand of the Father. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you what, that's only part of the story. Amen. Because one day, 
amen, as he told them, he said, why do you men of Galilee stand here gazing into the heaven for this same Jesus that went away? He's coming again in like manner, amen. Boy, I listened to a song the other day. He's gone, but he's not going to be gone forever. Amen, ain't you glad today that there's hope in this man called Jesus Christ? So the gift that God is trying to give to you today is that eternal life. Is that life of peace and joy beyond this old veil of sorrow. Amen. I'm glad today, thank God, that whenever he was up on the cross and he cried out, the veil of the temple was rent from the top to the bottom, making us the access that we might be able to come unto him. Hebrews said that we might be able to come unto the throne of grace. Amen. Boy, ain't you glad for the grace and the mercy of the Lord and Savior and Jesus Christ. How we ought to be thankful today that God's let us live another year. Amen. Boy, just to brag on Him and just to praise the sweet name of Jesus Christ. My, my, my. You'll never get anything like it. And once you get it, you'll never want anything else because He is the best thing that could ever happen to you. We're celebrating, amen, the Christmas season, amen, the death and the burial and the resurrection of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My, if He hadn't to give His life, we'd have all still been lost. But I'm glad, amen, that He loved me enough, amen, that He said, Father, I'll go, amen, I'll pay the sin debt, amen. Amen, boy, the, He was willing to endure the suffering, amen, of the cross, amen, because He knows after the suffering of the cross, there was a joy that was awaiting him. Amen. That he could go back to heaven. Amen. Ain't you amazed? Amen. To how that whenever he was born in that little old manger in Bethlehem. Amen. How that heaven rejoiced. Amen. How the angels spoke out. Amen. This scene and that boy when he was hanging up on the cross and blood all over his body and scarred beyond recognition. Amen. They wasn't a peep come out of heaven. The Bible said that the whole earth was silent. Amen. And God the Father turned his back on his beloved son while he was paying the price for mine and your sins. Amen. That we might be able to go free. Amen. And boy, when they laid him in the tomb. Amen. And he come up out of that tomb. I believe heaven began to rejoice. Amen. And now he is sitting on the right hand of God. He ain't only my Savior. He ain't only my lawmaker. Amen. One of these days he's going to be the judge. Amen. This evening, listen today. Boy, how important is this gift. Amen. We always try to give our children things that are real important. Don't you think? Amen. That if we want to give our children what's best for, it's about time we give them Jesus. May God bless y'all this year. Amen. Bless you this Christmas. And we hope and pray you have a merry one. Right? Give us a call. 303-690-3000.